we are equally concerned that the letters that were issued were not the decision of the party. Our party as NDC has about four decision-making uh, groups. First, the Congress, where all delegates meet to take decision. Second is the National Executive Committee, that's NEC. And then third is the Functional Executive Committee. It is when this group take decision, then you get the General Secretary and the Principal Officers implement. Then we also have the Council of Elders, even though our constituency says that they are advisory, sometimes periodically they also uh, give directions and then the party tries to implement. We are firm because I serve as on FED, I serve on NEC, I go to Council of Elders as an observer, and I'm also on the political committee as an observer. Congress, all of us as members of parliament are members of Congress. And the minority leader is also on this, all these levels. At no such meeting was there any agenda to discuss this. So it is clear that it is a letter, yes, written by the General Secretary, but the decision may be just the decision of some few people in the party. And we believe that our party should sit up. Because Article 55 of the 1902 Constitution is very clear. It says that everything that we do must follow democratic uh, principles. So we want to urge the General Secretary, and the most uh, shocking part of it is that we were never consulted. I mean, I, I heard some of the officers saying that, that some elders were sent to talk to us. I will be very happy to be mentioned which elder was sent to me to talk to me because nobody has spoke to me. And uh, without uh, casting any insulation and also uh, creating doubt on the capability of our colleagues, Honorable Atu Fosin, Honorable Kwame Agboja, and Honorable Amako Fibua, these are our colleagues. I mean, we've been working very closely together, those of you who report from this house. And myself, uh, Honorable Abeji, and the leader himself, Honorable Arunadisu, we will have to be grat grateful to this caucus. Any day they decide that, oh, we've had enough of you, maybe we want to change direction, we want to change energy, we want to change steam, we will be thankful for the opportunity given us. Because how were we put into office? I'll just recap, in 2021, the party led by the then national chairman, Honorable uh, uh, Ofusu and the general secretary, came to our caucus meeting. They came and their names were sealed, so suggested names. And I remember very well, the first question they asked the general caucus was, do you want to retain your leadership or you want to change them? And there was a, a row, applause, that no, we want to maintain them. Even that, they said they wanted to be sure, because there were some other names that were also coming up. Each regional caucus was asked to go back and having the names that had come up, Consider what the, the address, seal it in an envelope and give it to the uh, National Party, which is exactly what happened. So it was taken to the political committee, it was summarized, and then there was another caucus meeting to announce the decision from the various 16 regional caucuses. I want to say that this is consultation, and this is the caucus electing its leaders. I'm sorry to say that you have youth organizers in our party, they meet to elect their leaders. Women organizers meet to elect their leaders. And it is shocking for parliamentarians to be told that leaders are choosing for them. I have served, this was my third term in the leadership. There was not a single time that I was losing to that I've been appointed as so, so, and so to serve in any capacity in Parliament. And we know the natural justice, I mean, and the laws of our country. If you cannot write a letter to appoint, how can you write a letter to disappoint? We don't want this controversy at this time, or the letter to, dis to dismiss. I want to also remind the, some of the officers about our 1992 Constitution, Article 296, where when discretion is given you, that discretion, how it should be used, so how it should be exercised. So we don't want to create enmity among us unnecessarily. 
but we believe that the right process should be done. And believe me, if the right process is done, you come to the caucus, regional caucus will resolve that they want to change their leaders or they want to change some of the positions. We will be very happy and will thank them for the, uh, the opportunity to serve. Because the very day that some of us uh, were appointed to leaders, we knew there would be a day that you have to exit for others to come because we took over from others. So there's no doubt about that. Our plea is that when this petition gets to the Council of Elders, we hope that they will help fast track a reconciliation and a meeting that will help us resolve all this before Parliament resumes so that we don't have to saddle ourselves with this controversy. When MPP is really messing up completely, there are so many issues that we need to uh, be focusing, which is not the time for us to be focusing in the internal division among us. And I don't think that's healthy for us at all. So I want to thank you sincerely and probably give you the opportunity to ask uh, questions. Thank you very much.